Question 15, Unit 2, Rates of Change. The question is, estimate the instantaneous rate of change in the function p of t equals to 25 within brackets 1.08 to the power of t at t equals to 3 to two decimal places. Well, we could do it a couple of ways. One, we could approach t from both the sides. What I'm trying to say is that we make a table of values and here we can write different values of t and then we want at 3, right? So we can have 3 here, different values of t and we can calculate p of t which is this function for different values. So you can approach 3 from less than side and more than side. What I'm trying to say is that you could be like it. you can approach here like 2.9 then you can do 2.99 and then you're approaching 3 from this side, right? Here you can say 3.01 and 3.001. Correct? So you're approaching from this side. So, and then you see what value you're approaching to. So that value gives us the instantaneous rate of change uh, in P of T. Correct? So instantaneous rate of change is can be found like this the value which we are approaching to right so we can calculate this and then let's let's calculate and then see what we get so if I do 25 1.08 to the power of 2.99 we get exponent 2.99 we get 31.4685 31.4685 let's find the value at 3 also 25 within bracket 1.08 to the power of 3 equals to let me change this to decimal 31.4928 and let me find at 3.001 says so 25 to the 1. Thirty-one point four nine five two. So these are the values which we have got. Now to find rate of change, so we got we are approaching three from both the sides. So it is called preceding, and this is following. So what we will do is we will find rate of change from this side and also from this side. Correct, and then we'll take average of the two to get an accurate uh, estimate. Right. So, if we do from the preceding side, then we get 31.4928 minus 31.4685 divided by 3 minus 2.99, correct? And if we calculate from this side, then we get 31.4952 minus 31.4928 divided by 3.001 minus 3. Right? So we need to calculate these two values. Once we calculate these two values, then the average of this will be a very good estimate for the instantaneous rate of change at 3. Okay, so let's do that part. So we have 31.4928 minus 31.4685 equals to divided by within bracket 3 minus 2.99 bracket close equals to 2.43 and here if we do that we get 31.4952 
minus 31.4928 equals to divided by within bracket 3.001 minus 3 bracket close equals to 2.4 correct now so we got this result now here we'll take average of the two right so the average of the two will be 2.43 plus 2.4 divided by 2 correct so we do 2.4 plus 2.43 equals to divided by 2 equals to 2.415 so we'll round it to two decimal places 2.42 right since the answer required is two decimal places so that is our instantaneous rate of change of this function at t equals to 3 correct so let me summarize here what we did basically the instantaneous rate of change is p of 3 plus h minus p of 3 divided by 3 plus h minus 3. That is the instantaneous rate of change, right? We could have followed the centered method here also. We could have followed even one side or this side, right? And could have got very, very accurate result like this, right? As you can see, we had a result 2.4 if we followed the from 3.001. So h is 0 0.001 for us, right? And then if we plug that value in, we can calculate and get this result, right? Or we could have added h as, we could have had h as on the negative side, right? In that case, it was 2.99, right? Less 0 0.001. That's what I'm trying to say. The other side, right? This is like minus 0 0.001, right? This side, we are doing 0. 0, 0, 0.001 plus, correct? So this becomes preceding, that is the following, right? It's better to find the instantaneous rate of change from both the sides and then take average of the two. So this is our average, right? Instantaneous, I should not use the word average here. You may get confused, right? But average of the two instantaneous rate of change, right? So I'll say instantaneous rate of change. rate of change equals to average of the previous two values, right, from both the sides. And that's your answer. I hope you understand it. Thank you.